enigma just to be able to clutch out that last round, even though she was sitting at a life deficit against Burst Gengar. That was a banger. <laughs> yeah, that, that was a banger. But Bergy Berg, Berg probably be, be a bit sad after that one because uh, it felt like he like kind of threw. That's because he yeah, like ran it, with a life lead. It, it was it, a it, life deficit. I mean. Yeah, it was it was really unfortunate there, but now we're going to well, Enigma's going to be advancing to winners the grand finals Grants. to get her run back against Ant. And uh, we'll be joined by uh, James and Dan, and uh, I think me and you are off too. So, uh, th- yep, that's going to be all for uh, from us today. Thank you so much for coming to watch us, and uh, thank you so much for having us on. Yep. Uh, joy emoji. All like right, Dan. Uh, oh, quick math. Yeah, Bergie, Bergie really needs to learn to do math. That that was a throw. I have to say that was a throw. But anyways, Antwerp versus Enigma on Thalia Beach. One of the better stages in the game. So, a matchup we have seen a lot. A matchup we have seen this tournament already and... Gardevoir versus Sceptile, it's a, not an even matchup, not a very good one for Gardevoir, but we have seen plenty of times that Enigma just fights through that matchup. But Antwerp sitting on the winner's side, let's see how we go. We're going into it, so just fighting out for this uh, this field phase so far. Yeah, very aggressive start from both players, just playing really close to each other, almost CQC. And I would like to make a note that I believe Enigma is trying a setup with Evitol, which is why she's running it. Uh, I do okay. believe seeing, I do remember seeing something on Twitter, but we'll see how it works. Um, mm. And working on some insane shield pressure here. And Ooh, yeah. that, that would have broken shield. Prob- I don't know if you want to take yeah, that, that one out the yeah. player. It's up to the player though. Nice little um, psychic there coming out, little trap uh, catching Antwerp off guard. Though Snivy catching Enigma off guard. This well, is a, a very CQC uh, <laughs> round between two very mid range characters. Though Sceptile definitely can CQC, but Gardevoir not really. Yeah, definitely scrapping. And here comes the Yuvatol punish on, I believe it's the 5x? Oh no, it's the 4x. Yep. Gonna stop Ant from building meter at all, so Annie can really do whatever she wants right now. That was a good dazzling gleam. That gives uh, Enigma a little bit of a chance. A little bit of a fighting chance, though. No, Leaf Blade is just going to burst straight through anything that was going on there. The uh, e ball and everything. So, Antwerp taking the first round of Grand Finals. The Lapras coming out. We've seen that come to effect. But Antwerp sitting on meter now after that field phase win. Yeah. So fortunately, Andy just has to look for an opportunity to call Yudito and then can deny Ant this burst to clear. Um, Ooh, smart have little... To find an opening first. Smart little interaction there, J-axing to get back to the ground to delete the uh, the leech seed on the ground. So not uh, crumpled by that, though here comes the Avalto. I think this might actually ca- catch on its way down at will. This is a nice little combo. Antwerp not sitting on meter and can't even gain it. Meanwhile, Enigma can... Although, nope, Antwerp can gain it. There you go. <laughs> Just going to run straight in and get back into field phase. This is this is a tough situation. 11 HP, both sitting He's on burst. Be to call burst. Is Ant going to burst back in response? Maybe once Enigma's burst goes down for less than half? Ooh, nice little stored power. Antwerp kind of has to... Oh, no, he's going to burst as well. This is... Now he can go on the aggression, finish this round out if he wants. He's going to use... Oh, Giga Drain. <laughs> G- oh, Giga Drain. Yeah, that's going to hit. Because yeah. that always confirms. Hey, and that's a... the animation. That's good. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> but um, that's a really, really good um thing for Antwerp to actually use there. For those who don't know, the way grab crushes work is as soon as the um the hitbox comes out, you can be grabbed. So projectiles are a bit weird in that regard. That as soon as the projectile is released, especially long range grabs, you can just grab it before the projectile even reaches you. And Antwerp knowing this just sees like Gardevoir sending out a projectile and just uh stored power and uh specifically. But just yeah grabs in that um with a giga drain and just takes that round 
Yep. So here we are, game two on the best stage in the game, Snow Gift. Yeah. Um, Love the Aurorus. I don't know if Ant's running Whimsical. If he did, he got extremely unlucky not getting Yeah, I, th I think he is running Whimsical, yeah. So yeah, he's sitting on nothing for this round. Meanwhile, Enigma, I think, started with a 20% burst, so that's pretty good. Um, definitely better than nothing as Antwerp got, but Enigma working on this little, uh, this round a little bit. Still power to just push Antwerp back, though. Antwerp now in the corner. <laughs> this, uh, although letting go of shield on that uh, 5 y y Another store power. These store powers are really putting in work today. Yeah, and he's just found a groove. She's sitting uh, near full screen, just throwing out projectiles, trying to force Ant to come in. Uh, Ant's not really finding much of an opportunity to get in, though. Uh, here comes some insane chill pressure. The snivy call. Oh, a lot, lot of blue armor there. Like, it's just blue everywhere on these two green characters. Though, Antwerp's shield not looking too healthy. Yes, they'll probably protect that one a little bit. Even though he doesn't have that much meter. There we go, another attempt at that uh, thing I was talking about just earlier, though. Getting caught by the Detect, that's a lot of damage, and a oh, reset, a defense, reset. defense debuff plus the Rage, that's a lot. Unfortunate, uh, missed uh, the JY, but Antwerp now taking that round, there you go. Yeah, Antwerp securing a lot of these field faces with uh, Leaf Blade, I'm not sure if any has an answer to it quite yet, so it's just block. Oh, never mind, spoke too soon. <laughs> just just forward Y. Camera being a little bit funky. Thank you, Guard Aboard. Though Antwerp just going straight in for the grab. This uh, <laughs> back into uh the dual phase. There we go. He's trying the same thing again. Unfortunately, yep. mistiming it again. Yep. And he might even be delaying the energy ball uh throw just to try and stuff out that grab, detect the grab. <laughs> yeah, because the projectile still will come out if it's uh late enough. So definitely a good idea to do so. Antwerp sending the board seeds on a bit of a curve as well. That he's he's trying to work ahead of Enigma. Enigma just trying to stay at a level head here though. Winning that field face, sitting on meter now. This is uh this is pretty good. Stored power once again coming in fantastic use. And here comes the shield pressure and just teleports <laughs> into a grab. And I now Anne is in danger. He might need a burst here if he wants to try and get out of it. Oh no, he just jumps over. Uh -oh. Oh, too many hits to really blue armor through. Really unfortunate, though. Antwerp taking the round with a Leaf Storm and taking that game. That's game two. Antwerp on match, like, after this game, he could win, but Enigma. Enigma definitely capable of uh, doing that, um, that adaptive play. But Antwerp is absolutely on top today. Yeah, I... Uh I'm not sure, like like you said earlier, I'm not sure what the purpose of Uvitol is. It might be an idea to swap supports. There might be something that she can do with it, but it's just not working out, unfortunately. Mm, I think at this point, it, uh, I know it could be for a setup, yeah, but at this point, it, it we're in Grand Finals. Yeah, Mimikyu. Yeah, so we're, we're seeing a switch. That's a really good switch, too, for, um, for Sceptile. This this could be the start of something because we needed to see this switch. Beautiful yeah. profile to get over the five X or under rather. Antwerp just working through the dazzling gleam, just gonna beat out Antwerp there. Yep. And then he's oh, just gonna and use these uh, store power stack charge times where she can just delay her button presses as much as she needs to. Enigma, oh, I was about to say, she's only sitting on 8 damage at the moment, now on four, um, 402, I'm not sure what that is, I can't be bothered with a quick math, but Antwerp uh, was on the, back, on the back leg a little bit, but looking at the health now, it's a bit different, getting a little bit of uh, health back, however, Enigma, Antwerp, yeah, still on that back foot, that could have been it there, and that will be it, actually, yeah. the grab just beautiful did it. tick throw. So yeah, Enigma taking, I think that's the first round she's taken this grand final set. I believe so, so yes. Even, even with the uh, comfort pick of uh, Mimikyu, it's worked out, even if uh, it hasn't used it yet. Yeah, even just having the support there, the threat alone is more than enough to make Ant mm. a little bit wary. Especially lot... when it gets close to being charged. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot different to a Veltal. Mimikyu, Mimikyu, um... 
Maybe you can do a similar effect. It can cause it can cause your burst to really mean nothing with those two debuffs. But meanwhile, Antwerp yeah, working, on, working a on a perfect. Yeah. That forward Y. Oh no, he's gonna get hit by a forward Y himself. Seeing up a future site and an E ball. Oh. Enigma not mm. recognizing the CA there. Could have gone for a burst punish. See what oh, this is this. this this is a lot of pressure going on in the moment. Antwerp unable to really button. move. Nah, he didn't, but that's a lot of chip regardless. 251. I think, oh, he's going to drop it, but that could have been it. Antwerp still got the corner here. This is, oh, that's that's a slide out in that. Yep. yep. That's a 2Y. Sceptile, one of very few characters that can combo from that. And Ant sitting on tournament point right now, very commanding so far. I guess he's just got the read. He's got the download from the. Yeah, player. he's he's got the understanding going on at the moment. Leaf blades coming out. Nothing going to come from it. But Enigma really, really has to push in for um this uh this final round. She's got the one round, but Antwerp playing on point today. Though that nice that JY way. was very well placed. That future side as well. well that was. That was a fantastic read. I love that. Nice little JY. Antwerp, I'm unfortunately missing that JX. Uh, five X, I mean. Meaty grab along with the um the back dash. Yeah, and trying to speed. find his way in with JY. Goes for the burst. Probably trying to close it out now and apply a little bit of pressure. That dragon pulse is gonna do mad chip and shield damage. And he forced the burst back and She's probably just looking for an opportunity to set Back up in a corner. Oh, Ooh, does this, does this punish? Oh, it does. That should do it. I think that might do it. It's just not outside in... of rage, so yeah. Yeah, this not in good. rage. Oh, oh six, six HP, HP just missing. Oh, we see the future side. Oh, one oh, HP. What is this luck? Antwerp living on a prayer at the moment. He's. Oh, that's a perfect oh. block. Unfortunately, not taking advantage of it. But Ooh. so, so many things going on at once. Enigma still able to keep compo uh, composure and just take that round. Very good. Uh, very nice place, neutral wire. And yeah, Antwerp just unfortunately falling short for that one. We move on to game four. It is currently 2 1 Antwerp's way. Yeah, we're traveling to Neo City here. Hopefully we can see some more Nugget pickups from these two players. It seems to boil down to just whoever can shift and get burst first will win this, mm. uh, win the round. As Coma was saying earlier, it really comes down to who wins that first field phase. That momentum is so important in a matchup like this one that, that these two characters almost rely on that, uh, that meter uh, against each other, just handle each other. So yeah, it's it's really down to that first field phase. Antwerp thrown out a lot of leaf blades at the moment. Unfortunately, that uh, that JY's oh, not oh, punishing not the, punish. the leaf blade. It's Actually, very very it that makes it worse. Though Antwerp winning that field phase. Good moonblast, getting every single hit as well. That's really good. Yeah, and now we just sit in this sort of mid range, try and throw projectiles, but Ant finds his way in. Checking with 2 I. There's the CA Pierce. We're going to go for the conversion. Shifts. Gets the wall spike, so he can't set up the Oki, but he does pick up the Nuggets, so that. Oh, beautiful projectile the, delicious. That's a really high JY that Antwerp set up. The, the, lead, the, uh, the, the leaves didn't even get the chance to come down. Forward Y being placed, however, it, it works out, and Antwerp just able to place down the bullet seed and take the round with meter. Enigma currently still working on meter, unfortunately, Whimsical not giving her what she wants, Mimikyu uh, being given, but that's not what she needs. She needs a different resource. She also needs to take this field phase. Yep. Fight around the Nuggets, pick them up if she gets the opportunity to. Calls Mimikyu to apply a few, bit more pressure. I say Ant's got the idea. Oh, beautiful to get out of the pressure and wins the field phase. Now Enigma is in a bit of trouble, but pressing She's sitting on me, si sitting on meter, and that was, that was a really good field setup. It's just unfortunate that the septile just has such a good uh, like reversal to get out of that. So good back nice dash back and dash. another another well placed stored power. I don't think there's been one bad usage of that move in this match yet. Antwerp placing that leaf blade very well, so Enigma forced to burst 
With oh, that's hit oh, too. This is gonna catch. That's hit, and yeah, that's a plus ten percent, plus ten percent due to the, um, one having burst and the other not. This does quite a bit. Antwerp sitting on forty-one HP. Yep. Force the burst. burst. Gonna burst to try and apply it back some pressure. Get his HP up as well. Goes for the hard, Ooh. goes for the cheeks, grab. And that will be the set. Antwerp taking it 3-1. I believe that's his first tournament for the season, too. Not really being able to play. Antwerp comes in swinging. Unfortunately, he didn't do way too well. Not badly last week, or last uh, tournament. But um, dropping just dropping short of um, top three. But this time, just goes straight games. Doesn't drop a single game. He uh, goes straight through, or sing single set more so. Um, and yeah, he ends up taking the entire tournament. So well done to Antwerp. Yep. Well done to Antwerp. Well done to all the players. Good job on any for getting the run back against Bergie from last mm. week. Now, those were really fun games to watch as well. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But, um, yeah, outside of that, it was, that was a really good tournament. It was honestly, uh, some really good stuff to see. You, you were playing, we had bag playing. It was basically, um, we were talking about it before the actual tournament started. It was all like all the, um, like the, the people clashing for PR and all these, uh, all the few people just below that point. It was almost everyone, uh, in that sort of little group playing in this weekly tonight. Unfortunately, Tokyo Drifloon just couldn't make it to play in this weekly tonight. But um, yeah, it it really mixes up this PR season. I was only talking to Santa earlier. There's five people in contention for our first place at the moment. And this mm. throws a massive wrench. Antwerp, um, Antwerp was a little bit lower. It was probably the bottom of that five. But now this kind of place is in near the top. So... It's it, this is a really really close season. And I, I'd love to show more, but I don't really want to spoil the entire thing. Just know, yeah, five people in the running, and another three just below that who still have the chance to even nab it if they play well for the rest of the season. So, a lot is going on at the moment. Yeah, it was it was definitely. I guess Perkin Unite is being united from. I completely messed that up. Pokemon Unite is uniting all Pokemon players to play one last time. Yeah, I was, I was surprised we had so many people last night. I was definitely wanting to play Unite, but I'm happy I didn't miss out on this. And I'm, it was a really, really good uh, weekly, especially one to commentate. And uh, yeah, big thanks to you, Dan. Big thanks to Karma and Do for all our commentating today. Thank you for your commentary. And also thanks to oh, Thora thank for yeah. hosting this on his channel and for... Yeah getting this all organized and yeah massive legend. massive thank you to Koro for today so yeah that'll be us for now um i think dan you're actually going to stream now aren't you? yeah i actually need to go to the post office real quick to do something but then i shall be streaming some pokemon you know very soon oh, over good. on twitch.tv forward slash dan dandy 93 you can also follow me on twitter at dan dandy 93 and you can follow yeah, james at jamesy at Bell. right there Oh, damn, just missed it, LeMau. I oh, know, Antwerp's here. <laughs> he, he's secretly been here this entire time. Don't lie, Ant. No, I, I, I won't do the interview today, unfortunately, unless Ant really wants it, but I've already said that we won't. Um, But yeah, that'll be us. Thanks, everyone, for coming out today. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this Winter 15 Weekly. It was uh, definitely, definitely one of the better ones so far. There's been so many good ones already. So yeah. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. Thanks to all the commentators. Thanks to Koro. Um, yeah, that'll be all from us. Any last words, Dan? Um, stay safe. I love you all very much. Have a good night. Have a good evening, afternoon, wherever you are. And we will see you most likely on Monday for Winter 16. Yep, that'll be then. All right. Thanks, everyone. Catch. Gotcha.